Hey you guys and welcome to another video. So today po is I'm going to share to you guys my new set of books for second semester. If you're interested, then please keep on watching. By the way, I'm Jeremiah and I upload law school and law student related vlogs. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to click subscribe and click the notification bell sa tabi ng subscribe or you can just simply click the click here in the circle dyan sa my corner. So let's get to the video. So yun nga po guys, hi and welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's second SEM na po and sa law school po is pagbibagong SEM, so meaning bagong set of books. And today po is I'm going to share to you guys yung mga nabili ko na books for my second SEM dito sa law school. So again, if you're interested, then this video is for you. So yun nga po guys, this SEM po is I have 6 subjects. I have Criminal Law 2, Constitutional Law 2, Obligations and Contracts for Civil Law. Tapos I also have Basic Legal Ethics 1, Alternative Dispute Resolution, and I also have Legal Technique and Logic. So, those are my 6 subjects for this sem. And guys, every subject po is meron siyang reference na book. So, yun guys, and these are my books. So, sa first subject ko po is we have Criminal Law. So, this is our book for Criminal Law. So, this one is Revised Penal Code, Criminal Law, Book 2, Articles, 1142367 so this one is by Luis R. Reyes so this is a Reyes na book and nabili ko to siya guys sa Rex Bookstores so guys nabili ko siya for for 2220 pesos so guys imagine this one is very expensive for a book so ganito siya kakapal and yes mahal sa masado guys so nagtry ako magcheck na ito sa National Bookstore pero unfortunately Nung time na pumunta ako sa National Books or eh wala silang ganito na stock for this book. So by the way, yung edition pala nito is 2017 edition. So I think this one is the latest edition for revised penal code. Pero kahit na latest siya guys, yung mga bagong amendments for RPC is hindi pa siya naka-effect dito. So kailangan pa namin i-apply yung mga amendments for RPC sa book na ito. So again, this is a for our criminal law book. And this one is 2017 edition and 2,220 pesos. So yes, as you can see, meron na pa akong sticky notes dito for as my reference kung anong article na siya banda. Tapos, meron mga pa-highlight na rin ako dito guys. So yun. So this is my first book. This is Criminal Law, The Revised Penal Code. So yun. Next book. So guys, this is our second na book. This is for our civil law. Or sa civil law namin ngayon, we have the obligations and contracts. So this one is Civil Code of the Philippines, Undated, Prescriptions, Obligations, and Contracts, Articles 1106 to 1457. So this one is, yung author neto po is si Justice Edgardo L. Paras. So if you remember po my other na video about books, law school books, I'm gonna link that one below. So yung Civil Code din namin for Civil 1 is also from Paras, si Justice Paras. So the same author for Civil 2 which is Obligations and Contracts. So guys, ito nabili ko siya sa National Bookstore but this one is from Rex Bookstore. So yung nagprint neto, nagproduce neto po is si e Rex Bookstore pero nabili ko siya sa National Bookstore. Now, by the way, yung edition pala neto is 2016 edition. So I think this one is the latest edition for Obligations and Contracts by Paras. So guys, yung original price nito is 2065 if you're going to buy sa Rex Bookstore or di kaya online sa Rex Bookstore. Hindi pa kasama yung shipping fee dun, okay? Pero dahil nag-sale dun sa National Bookstore nung bumili ako at saka kasama yung mga klase ko, eh nabili namin siya for 1850 Kung hindi ako nang kamali, so that's 1,850 pesos. Kasi nga, may discount yung National Bookstore nung time na yun. So, yun yung magandang technique kung gusto mong bumili ng books ihabulin nyo po yung parang may sale or yung may promo yung bookstore para maka-discount ka po kasi po this one is 2,000 pesos originally so medyo mahal sa for a book and as you can see also meron na po akong maraming sinabit dito na mga sticky notes because and dito yung mga notes ko sa mga articles tapos may mga na-shade na rin ako dyan using my highlighters so ganyan na ako ka-messy when it comes to books kasi gusto ko talagang yung mga notes ko yung mga binabanggit ng mga professors namin is sinusulat ko agad either via sticky notes or directly sa book okay so this one again is for civil law next book is yung next book po na ginagamit namin is for my basic legal ethics one so this one is our book for ethics one so ang title po ng book is comments on legal and judicial ethics 
by Eldred C. Antiquiera. So, this one is for legal ethics by Antiquiera. So, guys, nabili ko siya sa Rex Bookstore. So, hindi siya online pero sa bookstore talaga. Yung edition nito is 2018. So, this one is the latest edition. So, 2018 edition. Tapos, nabili ko siya for 525 sa Rex Bookstore. If you're going to buy this one online, of course, yung 525 is on top of 525, eh, kailangan pong magbayad for shipping fee. So, if you're going to buy online sa Rex Bookstore, which I'm going to link also sa baba, then you have to add a shipping fee. I think that's 100 pesos or 150. I forgot na kung magkano yung shipping fee for this book. Okay? So, yun guys, this one is for our legal ethics. My next subject po is legal techniques and Logic. So guys, for legal techniques and logic, so hindi ako nakabili ng book. Ang ginawa ko po is binili ko po yung book ng kakilala ko na, na, na gumamit na ng book last year tapos hindi niya ginagamit ngayon. So yun, binili ko to siya from a friend. So this one is Legal Logic Revised Edition. This is 2018 edition by Dr. Francis Julius Evangelista and Attorney David Robert C. Aquino. So, if you're going to buy this one sa online, mabibili siya sa Central Books. Pero hindi na ako bumili sa Central Books kasi nga sa kilala ko na lang siya binili kasi hindi na niya ginagamit. So, yes, this one is 2018 edition. And I think sa Central Bookstore, this one is, I think, nasa 500 or 700 pesos. Hindi ko na alam guys kasi nga nabili ko siya for only 250 from my friend kasi hindi na niya ginagamit. So, this one is, yun nga, binili ko na lang siya. Yun, this is for our legal logic and legal techniques. So, yun guys. Next, sa panglima ko po na subject is ADR or the Alternative Dispute Resolution. So, for our ADR, wala kaming required na book kasi po yung professor namin is meron siyang sariling uh, set of materials. So, minsan, napiprint siya ng band papers for us para yun yung gawin namin guide during discussion tsaka pag may assignments man, is yun na rin yung pinabasa namin. Minsan din is nabibigay siya sa amin ng mga slides ng PowerPoint for his discussion on the next meeting. So, yun guys, wala kaming book for ADR but if you're going to look for our ADR na book. Marami naman dun sa Rex Bookstore and I know one book for ADR which is kay Attorney I know one book for ADR kailan nakalimutan ko po yung pangalan ng, ng author. So, uh, I think uh, Attorney Jim Lopez, kung hindi ako nagkakamali so yun po yung book for ADR na ginagamit ng mga kaklasiko as their own reference. So, wala akong binili kasi hindi kami required for ADR na book. The next, yung last ko po na subject for this sem is Constitu, Constitutional Law 2. So, yung ginagamit po namin since wala pa akong book kasi I'm trying to look for it online sa Central Bookstore at sa Rex Bookstore. So, dito ko na ipapakita somewhere dito, kundi kaya dito, somewhere. So, yun. That book is uh, Outline Review. Outline Reviewer in Political Law. I'm not sure kung dito, makikita nyo siya dito. So, Outline Reviewer for Political Law which is authored by Justice Antonio B. Natura. Kung hindi ako nagkakamali po, Antonio B. Natura. So that one is yung edition niya na required for us is, nakalimutan ko talaga, I think that was 2014 or 2016. I, I forgot. Basta yung green na book, ito, ito yung gamit namin. So ibang, ibang mga klase ko is meron na silang ganito na book, pero ako wala pa kasi una wala na akong budget. Tapos yung pangawa na nag-check ako recently, wala na rin stock. So yun guys. So yun guys, so far po, yun lang po yung books na ginagamit namin sa law school for second semester. So if you want to ask me kung anong mga nasa laman ng book na yun, kung anong mga topics, then I'm planning to make another another content about that. Kung ano yung mga, mga i-expect sa book na yun for second sem. So please, wait for that one. And again, I'm inviting everyone to please follow me on my social media accounts. Sa Facebook po, I have a page where I post some law-related din po na mga announcement from LEB. Then, may also daily na mga snippets, mga videos of me from work o di kaya sa law school. So, napupost din ako doon, mga 30-second na videos. So, if you're interested, then follow me sa Facebook na page which is Law Pressure. I also have my Instagram, my Twitter, tsaka another YouTube na account. And I also have my Gmail account if you want to send me an email po. So, yun lang po. If you have other comments for this video. Tapos, if you have another suggestions po for my next videos, then please comment that one below. And if you find this one informative and interesting, please don't forget to leave this one a thumbs up and share this one to your friends. So, again, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to click subscribe and click the notification bell po sa tabi na subscribe. So, yun lang guys. Thank you and I'm gonna see you on my next video.